Hello everyone, this is Amir from Frame Story. I'll show you how to combine two images to make something really creative. And first we will drag our first image that is background image and if there is any obstacle or dust we will clean it from just simply spot healing brush or healing brush. Just simply clean it. If we do clean it, it will look good. This look like okay. Then we'll drag our second image and we'll place it in right place. For move the photo, you can just simply Ctrl T to make it transparent or make it movable we'll reduce the opacity to make the image in proper place then it will be easy for us to place the image Things. okay now we'll increase the opacity and we'll select the subject simply quick selection tool I'm doing it fast you take your time to make it perfect just simply mask it and we have got our subject in the, in the background and we will add little portion of the water for this we will select the brush and we will we'll set the foreground class as white then we will brush it here So far you have got our subject in a decent position. We can move our subject if we got later on. Now we will just copy this layer by simply Ctrl J and we will we'll rename the file, we will make it the hard light and we will reduce the opacity around 60 or 70 and we will add little more here so far we have got a decent work now we'll we'll group the two images to make the image little brighter or so, something else. We'll just simply we'll just control G to group the image and from here we'll make the now we'll select, go to hue and saturation to change the watercolor we will make it neutral at first we will mark the mark this layer and from here we will go to cyan we will make it around 0 and from here we will blue we will make it around 0 now it's, now it looks almost 
match match with our background from here now we'll go to background and we'll make it we'll convert it as smart object and from here we'll go to blend option we'll select gradient overlay we'll simply keep the blend mode as soft light and opacity around 40 and we'll select the gradient color black and white and we'll place the angle 180 and we'll scale around 100 we'll keep this portion as like it is and we'll do ok from here we'll go to filter we'll go to blur blur from here we'll go to Gaussian we'll keep it around 5 to 6 and ok now we'll go to our blur effect in a whole image but we'll make it sharpen for this we'll select this layer and we'll select brush and foreground class black now we'll brush on it it will be sharpened as earlier now we'll create a black layer and we'll paint it so we'll select paint bucket and we'll keep the program black and we'll color it by black from here we'll go to filter we'll go to render and we'll select lens player from here we'll select 105 m prime and we'll we'll keep the light middle of the image and we'll select ok now we have a sharp light but we'll make it soft by simply blur Gaussian blur when I will keep it around 5 to 6 ok then I will again go to filter blur Gaussian blur I will make it around 5 or 6 ok it will be more soft from here we will select the opposite we will select the effect screen mode and now we will place the light as our requirement as this light is white we will make it little bit colorful for this we will go to and saturation we will mask it and we will make it little we can simply move the hue panel from this side to this side to get our desired color this ok to me next we'll we'll go to selected color from here we'll select neutral color and we'll make few changes like we'll make sign around minus 7 and then I will do yellow around 4 or 5 next we'll go to black and we'll add little light here for this we'll make black around minus 7 we can replace our middle light or our subject by simply select the light layer 
and we can move or make it smaller bigger according to our requirement like this way we can also move the subject or resize it like this you can easily make double image combination for something creative this really cool i hope you guys enjoy it thank you for watching see you in next tutorial